ruins of Andromeda, I found a mirror from old Earth. It had survived far longer than a mirror should. It was made of interesting and suspicious materials. I kept it in my tent. One night, in the mirror, appeared a little girl with a balloon. I had good reason to be afraid. I'd known a girl like that. I'd been hunted by a girl like that. But this wasn't quite her, and she didn't seem frightening. There was something broken about her. She asked me if I was him. <laughs> I'd have replied with something cutting, but she looked so sad in that moment. She told me that he, or often she, had kept visiting her once a month, forever. There had been the old one with all the hair. He had been the worst. There had been the one I travelled with. He had been the worst too. There had been the thin white aristocrat and the one who couldn't walk and the one with red hair who thought he was the last. But they'd kept coming. They always asked the same question. They asked her if she was sorry. She tried so many different things. She'd asked them how she could be sorry for a story that had happened many times in many ways. She hadn't even been present for all of them. She could see that from inside the mirror. They'd told her they were a story that had happened many times in many ways, and they would not excuse her. All she had to do was say sorry. But she could not bring herself to. She told me she was incapable of it, but the look in her eye when she said it made me not believe it. She asked me to let her out then. She asked me to do what he would not, as I often have. I asked her if she was sorry for what she did to me. She tried to tell me that was a different her. I said that was a story I'd heard before. I said she'd lived far longer than she should have and had learned nothing. I returned the mirror to the ruins, where he would find it. I came back that way a few years later, and it had gone. I don't know if she ever got out. Perhaps he returned her, in the end, to where he found her. To all the places he'd found her. Long ago, in an English spring. <laughs>